How to color our watermelon drawing. You will need watercolor, oil pastels, and a brush. Today we have Asher helping us out. Say hi, Asher. Hello, everybody. My name is Asher. Asher is starting with a red oil pastel. Now he's using a pink oil pastel to color in the light parts of the watermelon. Don't forget to blend it in. That was good advice. Thanks, Asher. Blending, blending, blending. Asher is being very careful around the seeds. Good job, Asher. Asher is doing a very good job shading, finding all the colors in a watermelon. I don't have to cover all the white spots because of, of the pink. Oh, okay. Don't forget to blend it in. That's right. Good reminder. Now Asher uses a dark green to color in the skin and a light green to color in the rind. Asher colors with long strokes to create the texture of the watermelon. Like long strokes. Don't forget to cover the white spot. Brown for the seeds. Booyah! Good job shading in those seeds. Now he's using a dark purple to color in the shadows. And a brown oil pastel to outline his plate. He uses teal for the plate's shadow. Out of paint. It's a paint palette. Wow, that is so new. Asher blends a red and brown watercolor to create a brick red color. All right, here we go. Now he uses a yellow watercolor for the plate. Perfect. Time to paint the wall. Asher is using his brick red to create stripes. Now he's blending green and yellow to create a lime green for his wall.
Oh stop. my goodness. And we're done. Good job. Thanks for watching. See you soon.